All right, all right. What's up, folks? Man, they just gave an update on the uh, murder case involving the uh, former NBA and G League player uh, Chance Kamuch and his young girlfriend that this murder was a plot, that they had plotted to kill this young lady, Miranda Rogers, who was they. And then the sad part about that shit, they find out Miranda Rogers out here prostituting. So here she is from Seattle, working in this medical field, but she's out here prostituting, selling cat. And the funny shit is that I was doing a live earlier and we were speaking about how much, how so many young uh, women out here are selling pussy, are, are doing the OnlyFans thing because of how much money this shit is bringing to them to where a lot of women are leaving, you know, well-paying jobs or maybe jobs that are kind of classified as professional jobs, professional careers, but having a hard time to make it that some women find it more lucrative to sit in front of a camera or sell pictures of them nude or playing with themselves or even coming out to where they're doing services, escort services and charging high amounts for it by having higher income clientele, shall you say. But uh, and it's sad that when when this situation comes up and as it's investigated, her family discovers like, damn, damn, she's out here doing this. And this is kind of even in this environment where as fathers or parents with daughters of how hard it is to, you know, to hopefully you, you can give as much preparation of life to keep your daughter away from turning towards sex work type life or being in front of cameras to showcase yourself just to make it because America's in such a tailspin with the level of greed and the lack of money properly flowing through uh, um, the system and shit. The cash flow uh, uh, um, cycles are just way off and many girls have found more lucrative and easy ways to make fucking money and that's showcasing with what they have between them because so many dudes are suckers and we fiend for what they have um but back to this shit man but that the this situation stems from the suspect girl here shikari harden and the victim being friends and it was guess uh, uh stated that roger rogers had been going around telling people that are implicating that Harden is implicated in getting the guy arrested or or for murder, something relating to a murder, and her putting her name out that she had the guy implicated for murder. And then this thing goes into they're going to set her up. So they have somebody else that's involved. They drop Rogers off or, or drop Harden off to Rogers' vehicle or – she gets dropped off to a vehicle where this dumbass motherfucking dude is sitting in the back seat and he strangles this girl to death and then they discard her body the same day he's having a game with his G League team out there in Henderson. And But then when the police are investigating, because the girl tried to go up there and report her friend missing as well as the family reporting her missing. And then they were, they, they've been plotting their whole alibi in case the police got in on them and they were stating that oh man she got in the uber because she's out here prostituting and blah 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 well they didn't take it that their phone records to be retrieved and the police have had almost a month of planning from these uh uh people plotting to kill this girl and there's a lot of this shit that goes on in the world and this is where people talk about phony friends and shit and everybody always want to Lie to kick with motherfuckers that they know truly don't like them. You just never know who's setting up the plot on you and shit. It's always somebody with some fucking arterial shit going on. That when you see motherfuckers just faked in a motherfucker, y'all have some type of falling out. Um, never trust the motherfucker. It's just simple as fucking that. Motherfuckers can apologize. Never trust the motherfucker. And it's just hard that this girl goes out like that. But Matt, and the other crazy thing with being that Morena Rogers has been found that she's been prostituting. There's another situation out here in Vegas. I think this is may have been how much time is going now? About two or three years. Towards a young girl 
found out in the de found in a desert area to where this girl had just dropped their boyfriend off to work. But then on the side, she's up here linking up with some dudes she met over the internet. She go picks this dude up after dropping her dude off, and she, you know she's riding with him. Well, this motherfucker whole plot was he needed a way back to L.A. And this thing was like, he's going to get this girl to pick him up, but she don't know that she about to die. He ended up blowing her fucking hip face off, tossing her off the car and driving this car back to L.A. But not just driving the car, the discarded fool was driving in her shit. And when her family's searching for her, wondering where she's at, the boyfriend's concerned because she's never arrived to pick him up from work. Nobody heard from her the day after that. Then her body ended up being discovered out there in the middle of the uh, just an open desert area off the 15 freeway in, in Vegas. I think like in Gene, which is as you head towards the uh, state line. We're probably really just about shit out of the main city, probably like 10 minutes or some shit. And um, her, so her car is reported and reported missing. So the car pops up on a, you know, kind of the technology police cars have where they can read the uh, license plate reader. The car comes up. Finds her car, the suspect, tries to go on a high-speed chase, crashes and all that shit. When they find this car, her blood and brain matter is all in the seat of this car. This dude never clean this shit up. None of that shit. So it's just like, man, these women got to be careful, man. And as fathers and mothers as well, you have to be concerned with what your daughters are doing. And then some of these, when, you, when your kids get of a certain age... They want to be private. They don't want to say shit, tell people where they're going, where they're at. And especially in, they've, in this kind of line of work, they really trying to be very secretive and shit. Cause a lot of people are embarrassed about making money in this way. But that's really where the world is trending to. Um, not because of a... Not all the times it's due to poor parent. It's just due to the fucking environment we live in. And these girls are finding that this is a better... Uh, not a better way, but... A more lucrative way to make money to really get ahead rather than struggling and working to what people think are um when you look at it as being more of a respectable way of making income and a lot of these women like i ain't being on this florida evans type shit fuck that I'm go out here and spread my legs and show titties and you get somewhere motherfuckers even pay the girl for showing their feet and shit and that's what they turn to. But, uh, man, it's sad. It's a sad situation. But that's all I got. Peace.